Wow. I presume this is working. I'm so bad at this. Hang on. Let's, uh... Hey, that's that's working. Let's see if anyone's going to watch this. I imagine no one's going to watch this, but I'm going to just make something in in 3D for I don't know an hour, half an hour. I don't know until I get bored. <laughs> I was uh, trying to record some tutorials, uh, and I realised I have no. Um, capacity for organizing thoughts, so uh, <laughs> I haven't done that. So let's just make a thing in in, in, in 3D. Uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, let's come into here and let's do... Uh, um, look at limited spaces and uh, space. Ooh, I want to make one of these. I made something like this the other day. A liminal space type image, a backrooms image. And I figured I'm gonna gonna make something like this. Cause because yeah, that one. That looks good. Let's reference that. Okay, well let's not make exactly that, let's make something circa that. Uh, okay. Yeah, right, let's 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 make it. So Right, well let's just get started then I guess. So let's just start with a plane. And let's make some steps that's come out like this. And then we're going to go zzz. And we're going to go like whap. <laughs> Hang on, wait. There you go. And these meter across. How big's a step? I don't know. Got a room in front of me. Uh, let's call this uh, 140 mil. So let's do 140 mil oh, millimeters. That work? There we go. Sick. Uh, Alright, let's do that again and do 140 in this direction. So let's do minus 140 millimeters. And let's do that. Oh, I think pull steps are a little bit longer, aren't they? So let's do longer steps. Yeah, let's do longer steps. Let's do that long. There we go, something like that. And then let's go down again, 140. Actually, this might be a little bit anyhow. Minus 140 millimeters. There we go. Got some steps, wonderful. H from steps. Let's make that a little bit. Uh, should we keep this on center? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's just mold around our axis. Why not? Stretch that out. Let's just say our pool's like here. Okay, and then let's make a swimming place. <laughs> Oh god, alright, so let's just go like that, let's just turn this edge out again, so, yeah, that's going to be, yeah, let's do minus one, minus 140 millimetres, nope, I can't remember how long the other one was, I'm just going to say it was that long, so, right, well that's not very useful, okay, whatever, and let's go down 140, oops, let me turn that off, Minus 140 millimeters, there we go. Sweet. Okay, let's just say that's our pool. So let's just bring this guy out off screen. Yeah, I kind of have to really worry about the walls then. Because I don't need to make this an enclosed enclosed space. Referencing this image by the way. So uh yeah. This one here, this guy here, why not? Let's just save that quickly. So let's go. Okay. There we go, let's full screen it. Oops, let's full screen it like. There you go, we've got a, a better better reference thing now. Why not? Okay. Okay, right, so let's make these, these still don't feel long enough, let's make these a little longer, like that, I guess, like so, and then, da, 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 no, longer, no, wait, wrong one, da, da, do, 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 okay, let's go with that. 
Mm. And then stairs off into nowhere over here. So let's see if we can also do that. So we've got a. Let's just come out of this one and let's create a new plane. Wham that over. Jesus Christ, that's. How big is this? Hang on. Four meters. Ah, oh, that's probably about right, yeah. That's probably fine. How big's a person? Let's go and grab a person reference. Do I still have her? Yes, Alison. Hello, Alison. Alison is my reference lady. She's fucking brilliant. Check you out. Hey, Alison. How big are you? I'm pretty big, says Alison. <laughs> I'm about person sized. Good for you. I'm glad. <laughs> Let's go over to here. Do, 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 do. And let's just create some. Can I just attach these? Can I attach these? No, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. So let's come back into this model and we'll go like this. And then we will turn off our dimensions. Come this way to about here. So I was going to copy this one for one, but so far I'm just copying it like literally one for one because, you know, that's how I roll. Okay, and let's create some steps into nowhere. So let's go doop, doop, doop. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. We're going to grab that, grab that, invert, delete. Okay. So now we've got our two steps and we're going to duplicate these bad boys. So we're going to go into do, 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 duplicate and we'll do, there you go, there you go. I should have measured these really, but whatever. Front. Oh, let's just eyeball this because, you know, why not? Nice. I realised, a little bit too late, that I had not, uh, <laughs> uh, I hadn't added any duplicates because you know what, I am clever. Let's go into right, no, front, front. Got to apologise to my um, keyboard, it's really loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry there are no people watching. Yes, that will that'll probably... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I forgot to add more duplicates. Oh. oh my Christ. Oh my sweet, sweet baby Christmas. Let's just do... Uh, let's do one of these. Come down here. There you go, go to there, there you go, and it's probably better if it's not overlapping, in case I want to fix this geometry later. But then why don't I want to do that? Alright, let's do, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, let's do 45 steps, why not? <laughs> I swear to God I know this software. I do, shut up. I'm just, guys, the problem is, I'm just thick. Like, that's just a thing. I had someone, um, not once, someone said to me that uh, I'm probably, like, the smartest, the stupidest smart person they've ever met in their entire lives. I'm not sure um, how to feel about that, to be honest. Because, for a start, they're kind of probably right. But am I that smart? Like, if 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 you if you do dumb stuff, right? If you do dumb things, it's like that whole thing from The Simpsons, right? Like, if if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, did it did it fall? And it's like if someone who ostensibly could be not rubbish at things is is a moron. 
Are they? That's a lot of steps. Are they? <laughs> Are they? Um, an idiot. I'm doing this the slowest way possible. There's probably a much better way of doing this. But you know what? A, I don't care. And B, I've forgotten the keyboard shortcut for bridge, which is going to be really annoying because I have to do it about 30,000 times. I should remember keyboard shortcuts. In my defense, right, in my defense, uh, I took a long break from Modo and a brief dalliance doing a lot of stuff in Blender. And part of the problem with that was, is that Blender is really good if you are just having a play. It's going to upset people. Well, no one's, no one's watching, but if, if Blender people were watching, it would upset them. But Blender's great if you're just sort of like playing with stuff, having a little thing playing stuff. No, that's a bit unfair. Blender's, Blender is really good, but I struggled trying to do actual um, work with it. Um, so I had a job where I had to do some 3D again. So I don't do 3D professionally all the time. It's just a part of what I do. Um, I'm one of those people who does too much stuff. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was, I was doing. I was working for a company that did um, kind of like interactive experiences. But a lot of it was like, imagine VR. Sounds lofty, but not lofty. But it sounds like stupid stuff. But it, I guess kind of was. Uh, but like, yeah, experiences, like interactive experiences. So a lot of it was like user experience and product design, but with a lot of physical objects. So everything's based on physical objects. So a lot of it is like museums and installations and stuff like that. So it requires 3D for both mocking stuff up and artistically, 3D in CAD actually, it's quite fun. How many of these fucking steps we've got to do? Oh my God. Um, do I just, yes, I'll do that. Let's just go like that. Hang on, how many is connected? Okay, right, let's invert that, delete that. There you go. That's what the smart kids do. <laughs> I think the smart people model this properly in the first place. Again, I swear to God, I now use a software. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I was using. Um, let's do like three of them. I should have started from the bottom. Oh my God! Okay, right. You know what? What we do? We we'll go line, ground the line, click the ground. There we go. Okay. Oh wow, that's not in the right place anymore. <laughs> it's because I'm talking. That's my excuse. My excuse is because I'm talking. It means that I'm being awful. But yeah, I was using Blender for a bit, and uh, just just because I haven't had to do it professionally for a while, or do it as part of my job for a while, it was just sort of like effectively working like a hobbyist. And then yeah, I went to this company where I had some some stuff to do in 3D for realsies, and uh, no, <laughs> basically no. And it's not a case of like it, this was like I was uh, even when I'm not doing like I personally super love doing 3D. It's one of my favourite things in the entire world, and um, yeah, no. Modo for the no, blender for real world stuff no um you know i'm always doing it like even when i'm not doing it for work i always make little 3d things uh as evidenced by a video on this youtube channel um i've spent a lot of time modifying blender that was in those two years when i was using it and the sort of um might as well because i'm talking to no one here um the sort of story behind it was i was working on a client a paid client gig in 3d and i was using Modo at the time and uh, I hadn't realised yet that Modo had Octane, and I hadn't used Octane before, and I was very, very um, comfortable in Modo's renderer, because um, it's a really good renderer, it's a lot like V-Ray, and once you're used to it, it's actually a very nice renderer to work with, but it's a, it's a dark art, it's a, little, it's a little, like, a particular sort of creature that you kind of need to, to know, I guess, and um, I'm sort of modelling on the fly here, this might be really shit and dumb, but whatever. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, I had a client gig, basically it was a bunch of stills, this was during Covid, the beginning of Covid, and everyone was like, oh no, all of our meetings were on Zoom, I want some Zoom backgrounds, and they had this wall with like a, a big neon sign of their logo on it, and they wanted a bunch of colours and a bunch of different walls, so they had like, the staff could mix and match it up, and um, yeah, basically I had a bunch of iterations of this wall, and each render, because I'm excessive, um, I made it needlessly, <laughs> needlessly photorealistic and needlessly geometrically dense and each render took about 35 minutes and this computer is pretty, pretty fast. Um, 
And uh, yeah, that wasn't a goer. <laughs> So when they were like, I did a couple of sample ones, and they were like, "That's great! Can we have the, like the other thirty thousand now?" And I was like, "What?" Um, I was like, "Fuck! I need to render a, a vast quantity of um, like these these stills at like four K, really, really, really quickly." Um, so I was like, "Christ! How do I, how do I do how do I do this? How does matey matey man here do that?" And um, Yes, yeah, so I was like, okay, fine. I'll just quickly recreate the city. I was like, I haven't got any budget to, to do anything with this. Let's just fuck. What can we do? So I was like, okay, well, I know Cycles is free. I've never used it, or I don't use Blender in a really long time. I used to hate it in two point whatever before two point eight. Well, Blender was horrendous. Um, and um, I was like, you know, Cy Blender's free. Cycles is supposed to be pretty good nowadays. Let's give it a go. And I was like, fuck me. <laughs> Cycles is really good. Like Cycles is really, really good. And that's very fast. I hadn't been used to, to GPU rendering. I hadn't really done much of it at this point. So I was like, oh, you can render on the GPU now. How decadent, how how bourgeois. And um, yeah, basically I was like, GPU rendering is, is a thing. How about that? That's, that's pretty fancy, right? So yeah, I got, I got pulled in by the fact that um, Cycles is, is a pretty quick uh, GPU renderer and I was like this is very nice what other things has Blender got this is so much better than I remember it being and it was an awful lot better than I remember it being that's not what I'm supposed to do let's just um, let's just disconnect these stairs they don't need to be connected uh, yeah and Blender was an awful lot better than I remembered it being um, so yeah I started using it for a bit and I started modifying it because I was getting pissed off with it um, to start with, I was trying to make it more like Modo because I was very used to Modo. Um, and then after a little while, it just basically became, let's just make this nicer because the usability in, in Blender is crap. Um, regular users will absolutely disagree, but also a lot of the regular users, it's going to sound very disparaging. A lot of the regular users kind of have only really used Blender. <laughs> so and a lot of them are, are, not universally, but a lot of them are hobbyists that um it sounds very mean i don't mean it in a mean way but a lot of blender users are hobbyists that have only ever used blender right so it's like saying i think this tool is the best in this thing it's like with all due respect have you used the other ones and a lot of the time they're like no i don't need to know if it's better because yeah. <laughs> and you're like okay <laughs> but yeah like blender's usability is pretty bad so i start modifying it and um yeah um well then. Yeah, I, I yeah, and then I got to a point where I had to do some real work one day, and it all sort of started falling apart. And it's like, wow, this isn't ready for the prime time. At least it's not as far as I'm concerned. So I went back recently. So I spent, I was went soul searching for a bit because I was like, at the time, I was thinking, oh yeah, Modo's dead, right? Because I, I got into, Modo used to be very buggy. It's got a history of being relatively buggy software. It's it's not the most stable. Um, and it's just a question, it's a mixture of familiarity, but also I'm not somebody who only sticks with one tool and says this is the only way to do it, just pure familiarity. I'll have a crack at anything, I'm not precious about that, and I won't defend things that, are, that aren't worth defending. Um, but yeah, I was like, yeah, maybe I can use something else, and I went through this whole process of being like, I can't use, Blender's not really, um, that's a nice way to put it, it's not really mature enough, I think, for a lot of work. Um, in a lot of ways, like weird things like Modo's got a, like a, a, um, Modo's got a, oh Christ, what's happening there? Modo's got this, uh, oh no, that's fine. Modo's got this, um, reputation for not handling large scale scenes very well. My God, compare that to Blender? Jesus. Like, it, it flattens it. Like, Blender's handling of big scenes is, is awful. Um, terrible. Things like import export, things like FBX, not very good, really not very good. Um, and these are things again. Some of these similarities are shared with with Modo, right? Like Modo's got this this this, this um, reputation for not handling things like FBXs very well. It's way better than Blender, and it's a question of like battle hardening, I guess. And um, is this how deep this pool's supposed to be? I should like taper off, I guess. Like it should go down because it's not like an inch deep, is it? Yes, let's just say yes. 
Yeah, Paul goes like that. So, yeah, it's like, um, and it's not exactly a modelling masterclass, so I'm sort of talking shit while also producing terrible, terrible work. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, functionally there's some really cool stuff that Blender does. Um, like, there's, there's some things to really love. Eevee is incredible. Cycles is really good. Uh, the modeling is actually pretty decent, I think. Um, the rendering work, the rendering, the, sorry, the, the texturing workflow is crap. The UV tools are woeful. The sculpting stuff, I don't really do any sculpting, but the sculpting stuff's really good. The paint stuff's pretty good too. I'd go as far as say it's probably the best um, in package, non dedicated sculpting tools I've seen. Um, I think it's pretty good. But again, I don't really sculpt anyway, so it's like, you know, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, but then, yeah, other things, it, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really get right, I guess. Not right, that's not the right word, but they're not there yet. It's got a lot, it's got some, it needs to cook a little longer. Whereas, like, Modo at least is pretty, uh, mature, right? It, well, I mean, Blender's actually older, but I think Blender's popularity has only really started to become a thing, um, truly the last, like, few, not a few years, but like, five ten years kind of thing um it was like for, i remember when i first started learning 3d stuff it was like a curiosity it was like oh there's that blender thing oh that looks like a toy <laughs> i never used that and you did a couple of times and it was it was like um if you ever use linux uh not say linux is bad but in some regards parts of linux they're real bad <laughs> you know um, things like GIMP. GIMP's, a, GIMP's an appalling piece of software. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, and especially now, um, because some of these aren't replacements for, you know, Adobe are evil. They're a horrible company. Um, but <sighs> there's a reason why Photoshop's so popular. Same with Maya is still the preeminent 3D software, right? Um, that's for a good reason. It's, it's the most mature tool that's the most useful and the most ingrained. Doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just how it is, right? It's you know, and just because it's it annoys you doesn't mean it's necessarily that much of a problem for everyone. I've seen this a lot with with a lot of. I'm just turning into a, a, a blender moan session now, but um, a lot of things I say is like, oh yeah, well you know, um, Blender can replace Maya. It's like why Blender's worse than Maya, and Maya's like a bit of a fucking mess. Why, like, why is that even an aspiration? Why is that even an aspiration? You know, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Me no get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, I've seen people unironically. It's the fanboyism, I guess, and like, especially when it's a piece of software that has um, quite a lot of, I guess, kinks to iron out. Um, and I've seen people like unironically say that our oh, blender's the best at this oh you don't need i was on a video the other day about houdini on youtube and then someone's like oh yeah but blender's better than houdini's it's got a geometry node it's like jump nodes in compared to houdini's like degree to which houdini is um like procedural it, it's like saying oh i've got a motorbike it's got two wheels and it's no engine and it's a scooter it does not I mean it's yeah you can get around on it um, Geometry shows are good. They're, they're pretty decent. They're the, the first step in a very long road to make a more node-driven thing out of Blender. Again, it's not ready yet. And, um, I mean, Blender's, like, developing at this crazy, crazy pace. It's just insane how fast that thing's moving. It's, like, shocking. It's so, so impressive. And, um... They'll get there. I think, honestly, I don't think they're going to swallow the entire industry. And uh, if they do, it's not going to be anytime soon. But they're making some good shit and they're moving faster than basically any other 3D package out there. There's a really good foundation. Um, right now, they're focused a lot. I mean, there's a few other problems. This is a, I'm basically doing a one-to-one -one -one copy of this now. Hang on, let me just grab this from my reference image. I was going to make something inspired by it. Now I'm basically just copying it, but who cares? Um... <laughs> So, yeah, you've got this this thing of, um, yeah, man, it's, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's moving really quickly, it's getting really popular, 
And I suppose the really good thing about it is it's getting a lot of people into learning tools. It's made the whole process of, of this sort of creation stuff way more accessible. Um, I remember back when I started learning this, I got a moody copy of Cinema, no, it's not Cinema, uh, 3ds Max from my sister's boyfriend. He got it from university. He got me Photoshop 5, and I don't know what version of um, 3ds Max. And um, yeah, that's, that's how I learned 3D way back when. This was in the early 2000s, this would have been. When I was a wee teenager, and I realise now that that makes me sound old, I guess. It's very weird. Being like, oh, being a teenager in the 2000s or the 90s makes you f old. <laughs> you know? I mean, no one's watching, but I imagine person, hypothetical person who's watching um, is also like, yeah, what the fuck is that about? I know, right? Mad. <laughs> okay, so let's lock this off. Let's just jump into Octane. So yeah, I don't use Modo's render anymore because it's CPU based and CPU stuff is slow. Although a really lovely, oh, there's a roof on this in there. Of course there is, of course there bloody is. Perspective, let's get a bit of perspective. Let's get my camera open. This is one of the things called Modo is you have like a pretty, pretty modular interface. It's actually really quite, quite lovely. Let's just, like this is one of those things that right now with what I'm doing, it's like, it's not a a <laughs> do what was it do as I say, not do as I do or whatever, because this shit is heinous <laughs> right now. This is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this is so bad, but um, ah, it's fine. It's probably fine. Whatever. We're just doing this for 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 shits and giggles. <sighs> and how far? Oh, we're only like thirty minutes in. So it's not bad for not bad for thirty minutes. It doesn't have to be a good a good thing in thirty minutes, does it? So we're gonna close this. So yeah, I am I am back in Modo World for the first time in quite a while. In fact, I could have just drawn a big box around this. Why have I done it this way? This is really stupid. Oh well. Could just, mate, you could have just done a cube and cut off one of the sides. Why have you done it like this? You're thick or something. Or well, you're deaf. <laughs> Should I just do this? Yeah. Ah, what are guns anyway? <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> We've got our box. Oh god, I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, uh, hey. <laughs> NPC. I work for NPC. Hey, famous company. Let me come model for you. What? No, don't look at that. Don't look at that YouTube video that I did when I made whatever fucking abomination that is. No, that's nothing. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. So let's just do, as always, I am very prematurely jumping into... Oh, uh, my camera's in my ball. <laughs> I'm very prematurely jumping into shading because that's the bit I actually like me. Modeling, honestly, can, can absolutely do one. It's one of those things that I hate doing. Oh, I only like doing if I absolutely have to extrude that out. There you go. There you go. No one, no one has to know that this happened. No one has to know about this. Just me and my no audience right now because I've got 50 subscribers. There we go. So we've got the basics of our scene. There we go. Look at that. Imagine that. All right. <laughs> Trust me, it'll end up being a thing. Let's just quickly adjust our... Let's unlock this quickly. Uh, focal length, let's call this 30mm. 30 30mm, 30 there we go. And let's bring this in a little tighter, actually, because that's a little... That's a little close. Also, I'm running out of stairs. That's about where I want it to be. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Nice. Quick question, does this pillar reset? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm definitely upsetting. Here I mean like, oh no, Blender's not ready for, for hardcore grown up. Oh, I'm such an expert. 
I know nothing. No one knows anything. Everyone's a liar. Everyone's a hypocrite. Everyone's a hypocrite. Okay. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> oh no, his stairs are. No, uh, is anyone stairs? His stairs are. My stairs are. His stairs are much more chill than mine. See how like, his stairs like. No, come on. No, just just have a little wonder. Am I like? No, man, you gotta climb. <laughs> oh, oh god. All right. Um. Well. Well. <laughs> this is shit. Uh yeah. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Let's do this. Let's go. What have I done here? Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. This is going to be very, very silly. Is that all of them? I don't think I've even selected all this geometry. Whatever. Let's just see what happens when I do this. Whoop! Of course that's not going to work, you moron. You bloody cleft. Right, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Don't know what's happened to that step. Hold up. Let's just reselect this. There's a fun thing you can do. Let's just do the motos. We'll get a little selection set on the go. Selection sets are pretty good. I mean, it's not like a unique thing, I don't think, but the way they work in mode is pretty nice. So I go set. Oh, let's go. New set. Stirs. Nope. Stirs. There we go, and then if we go add selection, and I'll do that, and I'll go whap, quick select, stirs. There we go, beautiful. Wait, quick select, stirs. Right, there we go. <laughs> this is the worst, but then I think ultimately, because I'm not going to be UVing any of this, because no, basically, no, I ain't here for that life. So. Doesn't really, oh shit, doesn't really matter that, um, get rid of that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, what's this? What's this here? What are you? You can go. <laughs> don't know what you were there for. We don't, we're not friends though. Not into it, mate. Not into it, bruv. Right. Let's get this and this guy. And let's just make ourselves a little bit of a corner. There we go. So now, our stairs go around the corner. Imagine that. Go back into our camera view. Can't see it anyway. <laughs> complete, complete waste. I think part of his composition is he's got this, this, uh, you see a bit more of his pool. Let's come back out. He's gone a bit lower as well. Let's go like that. There we go, let's go like that. Cause I don't want to get the edge of the, I actually don't really want the edge of this window in, to be honest. But. I don't want to go. He's not done. I don't know. It looks like his his perspective's a bit like. See what I mean? I'm just being stupid. See, like we've got different focal length, obviously, but like his is quite condensed and mine's quite wide. But then I feel like what would a camera in like the '90s, like a a cheap film camera, what focal length would that be? I'm going to say 35 mil because. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly that. So, I think my stairs are too short. Let's just do another one of these and go like, what? What? Let me eyeball it. Things in reality are never straight. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm bloody sticking with it. You try and stop me, man. You try and stop me. So his ceiling comes way lower than mine. My ceiling's quite high. I'm going to leave that for now. And then I'm going to come a bit lower. I want to see a bit of the stairwell. And then he's... He actually hasn't got that much water showing. I'm going to, I'm going to show a bit more water. Why not? Be saucy. Show a, bit, show a bit more water. Maybe we can do some details here. Who knows? Why not? Why not do that? I realize I haven't saved this. Maybe I should. Uh, save. Cool. There we go. Right. Okay. All right. So, first things first. We've got a gap here. Let's come like this. 
Where are you? Where are you? There you are. I think it was um, Ian Hubert. He's like, just fake stuff. Just do stuff. Just do things. And I, I, I think I agree because, like, you know, the thing that kind of matters is that the end result looks pretty. And I think we could probably get to something that looks pretty from this. Let's just go in here. We'll do a quick mesh clean up. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So there's our thing. Let's just... So looking at this, what he's done is he has got a... Uh, presumably... Oh, God. Why is this? I have to be so precise when I grab this to show it. Oh, God. I can't move it. Let's just do this. So you can see some other reference images. Well. Yeah, so he has got what looks like a sky, just a sky environment. We've got some reflective tiles, and he's got some water, and he's got some slides, and he's got some handrails, he's got a little bit of um, glare and shit. Okay, alright. Oh my god. <coughs> so, first things first. We're not going to use the mode environment. Oh, should we? Ah, uh, let's do that. Okay, what time of day is he on? Model, let's do Prethem, because Prethem's good. That's actually not a terrible time of day. Uh -huh. Okay, sun intensity, let's make that two. Oh shit, five? One hundred? Okay, one. See, I never use sky environments. I spent a lot of time using HDRIs. Is that right? Or is that wrong? Am I right? What 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 is right? What even is right anymore? Let's do he's got some shadows being cast from off screen, so that's kind of fun. Okay. Let's go with that. There's not enough light in the scene though. Um Maybe. Do portals work? Do mono portals work? I never do interior stuff. Well, I do sometimes, but like not not super often. Let's try a portal. There we go. Let's see if this works. Da, da, da. Trick portals is make them bigger than the thing. Make them bigger than the thing. Oops. Hmm? Hang on. Hold up. There you go. There you go. Oh, we've got a work plane on. That's why. You fool potato. Right, do portals work in Octane? <laughs> That's a good question. Doesn't look like it. Uh, portal light link, nope. <laughs> how, do, how do we do this? Let's just go into render settings and let's, I mean, obviously 1600 is just a silly number. Let's do 512 for now. Um, I'm going to get some nice. Um, core sticks going on here as well, that'd be fun. So I don't think he's got any in his scene. It's definitely a modo thing as well, because um, I can tell it's got a, uh, there's a, so Cycles has a look to it. So the thing with, with you see, I'm, 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 I'm putting off fixing my light problem. But yeah, Cycles has a kind of look to it. Um, and also you can see he's using denoising, because there's a very specific look to, to, to the noising inside Cycles. But yeah, we can tell because there's no core sticks. Not really. There's, I think there's some fake caustics down here. But I'm pretty sure he's done this in in Cycles. It has the sort of Cycles look. This looks like Cycles metal has a certain look to it. And also his water looks very Cycles. Cycles-esque, I guess. Um, and that's a, th a thing. I'm not trying to sort of make myself sound like a, some sort of pro, but I think a lot of... Um, there's a few things you can do with that. His water texture that can make it feel much more real, I think. Um, having given it a bit of time. So, has that worked? I don't think that's worked, hang on. What was I doing? What setting did I even change? What even is this? Where are we? What, 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 what? Oh, that was it, adaptive sampling. Let's see if that squeezes some more light through our window. Doubt it. 
Yeah, because it's, it's it's nice and clean. Again, something makes Octane super good. Because look how clean this is for an, an interior render. That's 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 uber clean. Right. So what we're going to do? Let's go add item. We'll do. Hang on. Come over here. We're going to add a directional light. Come down to directional light and turn this into a sunlight. Physical sun. Enable physical sun, and now this will control the light angle within our um, scene. You can see where our light is. Where is our light? Where are you? There we are. So this should. I said it should. But it's bloody not. So, uh, ah, am I being dumb? I might be doing being dumb. So let's just do, okay, let's just double check this properly. So let's go directional light and we'll do time of day to make it six o'clock at night. That ain't working, chief. Hmm. Hmm. So if I do environment, Let's <laughs> use texture environment, use motor environment power. Come back into my thing. Let's try out the Modo Sky with this. So you can power the environment with either inbuilt octane stuff or average view duration, 40 odd minutes. That's not true. No one's. No one has. There's. No one's. No one's. Uh, no one's. No one's better visit. A viewer. A visitor. A viewer. Right. Let's change this to physically based daylight. Is that going to work? Let's go back into our lights. So directional light, and then we are going to change the time of day to 1900. Let's just give this a reload. Well, that ain't working. <laughs> oh, how we broken the scene. Ah. Oh. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, because there is no other way to control that, other, either, either, either than. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a sky HDR. Because who's gonna stop me? You? <laughs> like to see you try. <laughs> oh dear, I haven't got that many sky things. Let's, because I don't want any floor. You can, you can look at my, you can look at my thing. That sounds weird. Yeah, you can look at my, my HDRs. Uh, no, no. I want some nice daylight with no ground or any of that stuff coming in. Just want let's look at all my environments. Let's just, just want a bit of, a bit of sky. Do I actually have a plain sky? I don't think I do, you know. Hmm. Well. Well. Uh, physical sun. Let's just go to. Make sure some bugger. Let's go to. Modo's regular guy. This is the Modo renderer. We'll go undo directional light, physical sun, and we'll make it nine o'clock at night. That's buggered. That's not working. Hang on. Environment material, physically based sunlight, directional light. There we go. So if I come back to, so yeah, so by default in Octane, if you just hook up a light, a directional light, and say, yeah, let this be the sun, then it, it just does it normally. But um, I think it's a delete the directional light of the scene or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right, it's going to physical, and it's going to be midday. There you go. And then how much power do we want? We want this a shitload more. Is that gonna work? 500. No. Hmm. Okay, so what we can do is, uh, we can hope, cast shadows, yeah. We can hope, tune to it? No, okay, what we can do, we can just hope I should do 9 a.m. because then some might come in sideways, right? So if we come this way, and this is showing the direction of our. Ah, oh, fuck. 
So this really shouldn't make a difference now because we have set it to a physical sub uh, location. Oh, we're going to be in California. Because why not? No clamping. Makes no difference because we're using a modo environment to do the blah blah blah. Right, okay, so let's try this out quickly. So let's use power. Let's make power two. Yay! There we go. Four, fuck me. Okay, sick. We can fix that. We can clamp that sky afterwards. Let's just. No, let's just leave it at one. Let's see how much light we can bounce around just with materials for now. Let's not, let's not be silly about this, huh? So let's just do a really, really basic tiles. Tiles. There we go. And then we go like this. Add our own override. It's already glossy. Just collapse that bad boy for a minute. Okay. So. First off, GGX, energy preserving. Because of course, let's turn off the roughness. Because why not? See what that does. It looks pretty rough to me, buddy. Eh. Oh, hang on. Not applied to the floor. That's why. There you go. Okay, so how much work is that doing? It's doing quite a lot. So we have, presumably, his tiles are actually white or just off white, right? And the color of his tiles are a side effect of the, the lights coming in or the, the camera he's used. So, see, let's go, let's go with, um, let's go with, let's go with, oh fuck off, let's go with, yeah, let's go with white tiles for now. Let's go with actually like, yeah, let's go, let's just, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do one of them. Nice. So, new texture, let's go with a uh, tile pattern. And then let's put that into the diffuse for a second, just so we can see it. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's not do UV projection. Let's go into new projection. Let's do box to start with. Failing this, we'll do triplanar because I'm not UVing this. There we go. That is good enough. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got his little tiles. Let's, let's get our little tiles. So, tile. Let's see, yeah, let's do this. So, line width. Hang on. Line width. No, tile cards. Bricks. Fancy tiles. No, you don't have just. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Hexagons. He's got bricks, though. I've not got bricks. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Veronoid. Oh, no, you open the armor. You know what? You know what? I just want... A, that must be like a chat pattern. Hang on. New texture. Is there just like a... I know checks isn't what you think it is, but I probably could blag something with that, but let's not. Let's do where... Let's do... Let's do... Stripes? Is that a thing? That's what I like. Stripes? What do stripes do? Uh... I mean, let's just do this. God, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, no. I think this, this streaming thing suits you better because you get to see the fucking chaos. Christ, that's that's a whole thing, isn't it? Okay, let's not do that. Uh, I don't want to have to use a texture, but I will if you make me. Um, the annoying thing is, in default mode, I've not been using um, Octane for that long, like probably a few weeks, maybe a month. Um, should we have fancy tiles? I don't want to do fancy tiles. I just want to have like regular, regular checks and probably like being stupid here. Hang on. Do, 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 do texture. Um, do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, no, that won't be inside there. Okie dokie. Hang on a second. Uh, tile. 
Should we make one? No, let's not make one. I can be bothered. Tile. Let's be procedural. Hmm. What do we do? Tell you what, let's just stick with this for now. We'll leave it on. Let's see what hex can why not? And then what we're going to do is, this is where I embarrass stuff again because I always forget which way around maps go. Let's go with that. No, let's go with that. There we go. And then uh, that is going to be, for now, it's going to be white. There we go. And let's just scale this up. So let's just make that 10. Way too small. <laughs> Obviously, let's make that 30%. Uh, 40%. No, so the difference is 35. 35%, there we go, nice. And then we're going to take that out there and we're going to put this into the bump. This is so far away, we don't really need. Like, it's doing basically nothing. Um, we don't really need. Is there a power here? Line with one. Is that doing anything? Yeah. There's no geometry in this place, so let's see what happens. Obviously, it's not going to work. It's more in roughness. Huh. Uh, I think maybe it's clamp it or something. I don't know. Okay, let's yeah, let's see our day. Let's go into bump again quickly. I think there's some sort of weird scale thing going on, I think, with this. Let's see. That's 100%. 35%. Let's just do. Yeah, okay. One, zero, zero. Why is she no bumping? Hmm. This is gonna work, maybe, who knows? Wait, oh, sorry, one, one. Input into bump. Okay, well, let's make that 0 0.5. I just totally doesn't work, is it? Let's just promote sanity. Let's do invert. See, everyone's like, oh, finish your model first before you start. It's like. I mean, the thing is, I'm a, I'm a big boy now, so if I want to have my dessert before, <laughs> before I finish my dinner, I can. But I don't know why, I'm, I think it's because it's just late. Okie dokie, let's just do that. Uh, let's leave it in our roughness for now. See, this is what's going to be weird, right? I reckon if I come do this. Oh, hang on, what's my projection? Uh, hold up. Wait. Yeah, no, that's my, okay, no, it is box protection. Let's change this to... World space. Uh, no, that should still work. Yeah, so my theory is, right, if I go new texture, I figured this out the other day, in a different scene, I might even open it. I just do like noise, right? And I wham that into my bump. There you go, you see, working. So, then if I'm like, well, what if I like, just do like math operator, binary logic operator, is that the one? I think so. Yeah, it is. Is that right? No, it's not logical, it's. Bit of drum bass, a bit late in the drum bass. Let's do new value. Uh, but yeah, binary math operation. There we go. Maths, math, maths. Yep, so if we do that, get rid of that, get rid of that. What? What? And then if we go boom, hmm? Oh, dingleberries. 
Wait, hang on. No, I'm just being an idiot. Sorry. New texture. I'm going to do... Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Mix. There we go. Mix texture. There you go. There you go. And then we go into bump. Yeah, so if we do this and we do one, we've got our bumpy thing. Do zero, you get nothing. Being done. That should make a difference, and I inverted it. Why does that not do the bumpy bumpies? I've, let me just save this quickly. I figured this out the other day. I figured that the other day. So, let's go, and go to desktop. Um, what do I call it? Is it an eagle? Amazing, thralling stuff, this. Uh, hallway. Oh, old version, fuck. Uh, hallway. Oh, God. Cancel. Let's do hallway. Where's this? Hallway five. There you go. No to all. There you go. Give that a refresh. There you go. We have a creepy hallway. So I'm using the same tile texture down here, I think. So if we go into floor, floor, and then. Yeah, so what am I doing here? So I can see my. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Tile pattern. Uh, no, yeah, I'm using a tile pattern. So what we're we doing here? Box protection, yes, that's what I'm doing. So box protection goes into protection there, which goes into mixed texture with a noise. So this is basically exactly what I was going to do for this. Just some, yeah, literally, it's basically the same, the same setup here, right? I could save that as a preset, but no. Yeah, so yeah, I want tiles. So we've got our. Uh, Roughness tiles, I don't know why I've still got that piped in, I think it's, I've run into the same issue. So we've got roughness tiles, and then we've got our bump tiles. And that is mixed into a noise texture, and it should be mixed in some scratches. Yeah, scratches into, yeah, and that goes into, yeah, so you've got scratches and tile texture into the roughness. Ah, that's why, so I can not have the scratches, yeah, they masked out, I think, by the rough. no, they're not. They should be, but they're not. So there we go, scratches into the roughness, and then we've got noise, so, yeah, and then 0 0.8 in favour of, so, what is going on here? Am I going crazy? Let's just quickly solo this, in fact, just turn, let's rip out the roughness. We're looking down here. Is that on our bump? Or just my imagination? No, it's gone. So let's just grab our tile texture. Maybe this is like a phantom thing. Yeah, no, the tiles don't. Why would the tiles not show up in the bump channel? It's very, very odd. Hmm. Storge. Okay, well. Yeah, we use a texture. Hang on. We use a texture. Let's just do tile texture alpha bump. Uh, let's just do polygraven. Let's try and get a, a free, a free thing here. Do I do? They do textures. Browse textures. And let's just do floor tile. Let's just, just do ho what hospital porter? What? Weird. Oh, so add the tile. 
Okay, aha. So, yeah, tough look. That'll do. That's good. That was good. Nice. Let's just download that. 4K. Oh, I've got blend file. No. I don't want to stop it. Cancel. I don't think I'd ever want a dot blend file. Like, I would never want an LXO file. That's the Modo format. I wouldn't, like, just use the common, the, the, the ones, the ones that everyone uses. None of this silly. There's, there's FBXs for, I mean, FBX sucks, but, you know. Um, what you're going to do. Right, so, let's go to this. Let's do a little refresh, refresh here. Okay. This opens, show folder. Oop. Strike that bad boy. I don't want the dot blend. What are you doing? Texture, thank you. So, let's just do. I've got a normal, let's have a go at that. Wap, has that gone in? Okay, yeah, normal. Uh, area occlusion, yeah, let's have a look at that, why not? Let's do displacement, yeah, why not? We'll use that in a bump. Roughness, I'll just grab it for now, why not? There you go, I'm not going to use that though, I think. So, sick. Sick, 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 sick. So, Let's just uh, come down to here. Let's go into custom. There we go. So let's go and get my displacement. Bam. Let's get rid of. Where are you? I think that's out there. Get rid of these tiles. Get rid of all of this shit. Didn't actually need to do that. Oh, well. RGB image. There we go. Our name like that. Let's go into here. Let's get, close this down for a second. We'll go new projection. Let's do box again. There we go. Projection is box. And let's then go and wham this into the Le bon. There you go, that's what you're after. Beautiful. Why that doesn't work with the procedural is, is odd. It might be user stupidity. That is a very distinct possibility. Either way, I think that's that's uh, harshing up my, my jam though, in terms of reflectivity. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so he's got displacement there. Let's just go grab this and do custom A. Let's have a look at what's in the normal channel, huh? What's in the normal channel? Let's oops, hang on. Let's just go uh, normal. Obtain normal, normal type. Uh, Oh dear. Object. Almost well. Oh, my normals feel, feel, feel battered. I say, oh, oh, it's okay. It's just a uh, bump. There you go. Let's make the power 0 0.1. If in doubt, <laughs> just just do the wrong thing. Uh, is that on the walls? Is that on the walls? Hmm. No walls. Not so geometric. No. Hmm. 
Found the wall. Tiles. Everywhere is tiles. Okay, so let's just do 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 mix mix color. Mix texture even. Do do. Grab that, doop. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting tired here. I need to. Oh, yeah, I might have to call it a night in a minute. No, hang on. Being done. Ah, oh, fuck it. Multiply will do it. Wait, is that all around? I don't know. Oh, you know what? That's me done. Anyway, good night.